Hello and welcome to World in Five. President Mnangagwa, who is in China, yesterday visited Lutang village in Hanan province to gain insights into the region's rural modernization project and innovative land use methods. The tour aligns with Zimbabwe's Vision 2030, which aims to achieve sustainable development and improve living standards for its citizens. The Lutang project serves as a model for rural development, showcasing effective agricultural practices, infrastructure improvements, and community engagement strategies. President Mnangagwa's visit highlights Zimbabwe's interest in adopting similar approaches to enhance productivity in its rural areas. There is a huge contrast between where we come from and here. In Zimbabwe, the land is so vast and it's empty. So individual families can utilize land to the maximum of their own uh, strength. But here, because of the constraint of land, you can see how they maximize every piece of land towards production to feed themselves. So this is the difference between abundance of land and a few people. And the more people, but with limited land, it makes people get more organized. We are not organized because the land can go for 500 kilometers and there's nobody. <laughs> so this is the lesson. Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, RBZ, will intervene to defend the local currency, Zimbabwe Gold, ZIG, against speculative attacks through interjecting foreign currency into the interbank market and enhancing monitoring of daily money supply conditions. Monetary authorities believe ZIG is weakening on the parallel market because of speculative tendencies by some market players. The official exchange rate currently stands at 13.58 ZIG to the United States dollar. However, the parallel market is offering premiums of up to 70%. Some retailers have been increasingly indexing prices to parallel market rates, which has resulted in discomfort for consumers. RBZ Governor Dr. John Mushayevanu said the depreciation on the parallel market is a result of transitory foreign currency pressures in the multiple currency system and that the parallel market rates presumed to be obtaining in the market are just coated rates and there are no meaningful trades taking place. He also indicated that the codes tend to influence the trading sector to increase prices to mimic the parallel market where there is no significant trading. In other news, the Health Service Commission has embarked on a full job evaluation of all health professionals and workers in public service that seeks to assess the qualifications and importance of all posts within the sector, ensuring that employees are compensated fairly and equitably in line with their contributions. The evaluation, which started at the end of July, is expected to be completed by mid-November this year. The evaluation is expected to have an impact on the morale and motivation of healthcare professionals by ensuring that their efforts are recognized and rewarded appropriately. The process is also expected to influence employee motivation and help in building a healthy nation and the achievement of important goals, including better health outcomes in all areas. Zimbabwe's public health sector has, over the past years, been hit by a high staff attrition rate, which saw a huge number of qualified nurses, doctors, pharmacists and specialists leaving for better opportunities. Acting General Manager Conditions of Service and Industrial Relations in the HAC, Lavmo Marufu, said job evaluation was a scientific process of evaluating the relative worth of different jobs in an organization. A job evaluation exercise is a scientific process of determining the relative worthiness or the value of jobs. So job evaluation is not salary increase, job evaluation is not promotion, it's not cost of living adjustment, it's not upgrading. But when you are doing job evaluation, you are weighing or grading jobs uh, using a predetermined criteria. In this case, we are using the Patterson system to grade the various jobs. Job hierarchy in terms of how people report to each other is established through a job evaluation exercise. 
And also you'd find that a job evaluation exercise is important to the sector because it helps us to uh, design or what is called a fair and equitable compensation structure. Zimbabwe is yet to record an MPOX case, contrary to the speculation on social media. MPOX was declared a public health emergency of international concern by the WHO and a public health emergency of continental security by Africa Centers for Disease Control. However, with DRC and South Africa having recorded cases, the country is on high alert. Um, MPOX has not yet been recorded in Zimbabwe, but it has been recorded in in a neighboring country in Mozambique. Mm. Uh, and it, it's also been uh, endemic to the Eastern Central Africa. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe says it is happy with the general acceptance of the ZIG currency. The central bank is set to increase the injection of cash in line with demand. In a mid-term monetary policy statement released on Friday, RBZ Governor Dr. John Mushayavanu said the bank will continue to inject more small zig denominations into the economy to ease the problem of change and eliminate the rounding up of prices by businesses. The decision to exempt transactions from bank charges of less than $10 is a move in the right direction. I think uh, this is one um, uh, aspect that will yield positive results and uh, I will elucidate uh, a few points. I think to begin with, there's going, they were probably going to expect uh, increased financial inclusion because uh, lower charges are obviously going to make uh, banking services more, accept, more accessible to low income individuals and as well as small businesses. And then uh, it's also going to lead to reduced transaction cost, which uh, entails that there's going to be decreased charges leading to lower cost for consumers and businesses. Uh, and this will ultimately promote economic activity. And that's a wrap on World in Five.